Good morning, everyone. Oh, happily hiking here in Vermont. Oh, last night, made camp kind of by a shelter here. First one in Vermont. I slept. Best sleep I have ever had. Oh my gosh. The dark, rich, black Vermont forest soil there. Was so soft. So incredibly soft. So I number, what, about 1,100 miles ago, I ditched my air mattress. And, uh, it's just so crinkly. Couldn't sleep well on it. Now I bought a cheap, cheap, cheap yoga mat from Walmart. 808 or something like that. And I've been using that for the last 1,100 miles. Sleeping so sound, so comfortable with that thin little. Oh, I'll show it to you later. It's uh, very thin and just kind of smooths things out. But I sleep best on that. I'll pile up some leaves, some debris sometimes if it's kind of rocky. Just set my, set my little tent up on. It makes for real nice sleeping, but whatever it was last night, I slept. It was amazing. Just amazing. So nice, so comfortable. I am loving Vermont. <laughs> Hiking along on the long trail as well. And that is the oldest hiking trail in America. I guess established, dedicated for hiking. AT runs along it. I think it signed said like 105 miles. I've covered five of those yesterday evening and this morning already. So I got about a hundred miles of long trail. LT80 ahead. Rather looking forward to it. Hello, Vermont. Kind of looks the same, but it's still nice. <laughs> Hey there, little fella. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> so that little guy's name was Dobby. Like the elf. House elf. Little vite. <laughs> kind of cool running into more and more southbounders here now. It's always kind of cool to see them. They look like greenhorns. Only haven't come a couple hundred miles. <laughs> ah, just kidding. It's like the. It is cool to see more and more people though heading south. Kind of livens things up a little bit here.
Here's the Congdon shelter. Looks kind of cool. Kind of just a big old box with a table in there, some bunks. That's kind of nice. Whew. Heat is starting to build. There's a lot, a lot of mud. <laughs> Heard it called for mud before. It's uh, has not rained for a couple of days, so the top is a little bit dry. Some of the roots sticking out are, but don't be fooled. <laughs> a lot of times, the mud you might slip in, it uh, it might hold. A lot of times it's just like a skin on the top that you sink down into the juice up over the ankle. It's uh, just a, boy, if it rains, oh, things will get ugly real fast. <laughs> so far today, heat is just building. It's real hot and thick, humid. This kind of worries me a little bit. Maybe not worried, but I feel there might be some storms this afternoon. <laughs> that'll, that'll turn this whew, downright wild. Ugh. All right. Enough of this for now. <laughs> Here goes the trail. Kind of drier up there. All right. Up here on uh, Harmon Heights, I believe. Not really great view or overlook, but way down in there, there's a little town of Bennington. And that, oh, that's the place I'm headed. I get down there today, get some more chow. I'm just about out. Got a dinner left, a couple of bars, but oh, sadly, no honey buns. <laughs> Harmon Hill. <sighs> All right, a couple more miles. Yeah, it's either mud or bald rocks, up and down. It's kind of fun, but man, there's no easy miles in New England. <laughs> that is for sure. It's hot, and then cloudy, and then hot, and steamy. Oh man, I hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> Actually, if it does, it'll just get wild, but oh man, <laughs> we'll see. Got some wonderful magic coming down the mountain to the road. I'm in Bennington now, but there was a, oh man, the most beautiful trail magic there. Dandelion, thank you so much. It was perfect and unexpected. I loved it. And good luck to you on your hike next year. And then while I was there, Svi and Gall, two other hikers, they had a car parked there and they were gonna head into town and had just oh, such good people. They asked if anybody else was going in there and saved a hitch. Thank you guys both. Love it. Made this day a little nicer. So thank you. And you're still fresh from the hotel, so. 
I don't know about fresh. <laughs> Fool. So you look good. Split rock. <laughs> so, I'm in the Glastonbury wilderness now. And that is kind of a crazy place, a haunted or supernatural, missing persons, lots of odd things happened here. So it's kind of exciting to be in here. But one thing I noticed right away, listen. No birds, no squirrels, no chipmunks, no nothing. That's kind of odd. <laughs> so I don't know what all, what all the rest of the stuff is, but it is an interesting feeling walking through just a perfectly quiet woods. Listen. Nothing. Whew. So yesterday I spent uh, down in Bennington, Vermont, and I gotta give a shout out to uh, a trail angel that lives there, Steve. He was just uh, Johnny on the spot walking down to get some breakfast and he was there stopped on the road said hop in i'll give you a ride and i was uh, like three or four times that day running around town he would he'd just show up and say hop in and just a great guy real great guy so thank you very much steve you're a trail angel truest sense of the word But it is good to be out of town and back up in the woods. It is hot, 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 hot. I never thought Vermont would be so hot. But up in the 90s again today and humid. So just kind of do the best I can and keep hiking on. Still not a sound back in here. Not a sound. That's crazy. So here's a nice view up on top of the Glastonbury Tower. Beautiful morning. Uh, best view in a long while. This is my sleeping mat. <laughs> Pretty small. It's comfortable enough. two, three, four trees, all growing out of the same spot. Looks like three of those, three of those are the same tree, I think. <laughs> wow. Hey, good morning, Blaze. Vermud, it's deep, very deep. <laughs> oh, what fun. Whew. This nice little stretch here though. Right. <laughs> well, 
Left the Story Brook shelter. I stayed there last night. It rained a little bit. And this morning as well. And uh, not been making good time here. This last bit should have. That's the town I'm coming up to. I was down in Bennington. I'm heading up to Manchester. Should have been able to do that in about two days. Right. There's my back. All of a sudden, it's just sore as can be. And just uh, barely making 10 miles in a day. So, I don't know. I'm trying to sort some stuff out here as I go. Feeling hydrated and all good in that sense. Spirits are pretty high. And uh, kind of just a general malaise, you might say. And uh, man, my back and my neck just been aching. But kind of happy just to be in the woods pushing along, but I can't make it to Maine at 10 miles a day. So we'll see. Trying to sort some stuff up as I go along today. I was hoping it would just kind of pass and I don't know. So we'll see, but moving through the mud, got a little bit of mud up ahead and a beautiful white blaze. <laughs> the long trail and the AT use white blazes, by the way. And so at some point when the AT splits, there'll be a split in the trail with two white blazes, I suspect. Oh, <laughs> but that's down the road a bit. I'm just gonna keep moving along today and uh, see how I feel. So, <sighs> just ran into a friendly Forest Service fella by the name of Ray. He has uh, pulled out his maps and checked mine and asked if they needed anything or whatever. We're just crossing on this road. And it was good, uh, good to see a friendly and happy Forest Service man out on the job. Keep up the good work, Ray.